Hello, hi, welcome again to Hope Alive with Mary. I'm here to inspire, motivate, and encourage you never, 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 never to give up, but to keep your hope strong and alive, especially in the time that we are in right now. Um, before I get on with the video of today, I just quickly want to throw in this word of encouragement for people who are already experiencing depression, um, anxiety, they are anxious and wondering what, you know, you know, about what's going on right now and um, what's to come. Um, my quick word of advice to you is to put your cons consistently and constantly put your trust in the Lord, focus on the word, get off the negative news, you know, shut your ears and your eyes from all the negative news and focus on God's promises to you. And on the more practical notes, please do something that interests you. Do something that you love. Do, you know, learn something. Go on YouTube, learn to sew if you have any passion for that, even if it's drawing, if it's writing, cooking, baking. Be more practical. If you've got a garden, go in and do some gardening. Do some practical things that will distract you from what is um, going on out there. Um, so now to the uh, topic of today, I want us to talk about something very interesting. There is no lockdown in heaven. Absolutely no lockdown in heaven. This is the topic today. There might be lockdown where you are, where you're watching from right now, but there is no lockdown in heaven. And that was just the exact words that the Lord used to um, to encourage me um, or to speak to me a few days ago. And um, as you already know, Hope Alive is born out of my own personal experience and issues and things that I had gone through. And consistently, the charge to me is encourage others. Comfort others with the same comfort or encouragement that you have received. So when I receive, I share with you. And we are all blessed and we are encouraged to go on. And also sometimes it is from experiences of people that I got to speak to or, or, or talk to from time to time. Um, yes, so there is no lockdown in heaven. And this was because, um, you know, when we got into all these things, some of us are beginning to shift our or mentally remove some prayer requests. Or things we're believing God for, you begin to say, oh, there's a lockdown now, so probably this won't happen until after the lockdown. There are business you have in mind, the ideas, the things you're trusting God for, or even jobs. You're saying, well, there's a lockdown, there's no money's employed now, so then you are pushing it behind, and you're saying, okay, maybe after the lockdown, but the Lord sternly said to me, there is no lockdown in heaven. And I was like, wow, that's interesting. Because then the scriptures that began to come to me is the fact, is, is the, I mean, is this, is this, um, the Bible says that all good and perfect gifts comes from where? Above. Okay? It said the Bible says promotion comes from where? It comes from above. It comes from the Lord. Anything that you need on this earth, anything, be it a job, contract, business, child, whatever it is, it comes from the Lord. The Bible says no one has anything or receives anything that has not been given. So God gives. So if there is no lockdown in heaven, Nothing stops God from moving here on earth. So that really encouraged me. So the world happens. You said to my, you know, at the end of this video, I'll share my testimony of how, what God, you know, how God answered my prayer a few days after he said this to me. So um, the scripture that came to mind, or the story that came to mind is in the scripture. First uh, Kings chapter 6 was the end of First Kings chapter 6 and then chapter 7, 2 Kings rather, chapter 7. And this there was a situation. The king of Syria, ben Hadad, held Israel hostage. Okay? He besieged Israel. So all around Israel, there was a lockdown. So if you think you're experiencing something new, sorry, it's not new. It's not new. Nothing is new under the sun, they say. So there was a lockdown at that time. And there was no going in. There was no going out. Businesses, everything was shut down. And if you think what you're going through now is hard, is difficult, my sisters, my brothers, let me tell you, it's something that they went through that you know definitely what we're going through now is nothing compared to it. When you talk about hunger in some countries, they all they're you know, screaming and shouting about is hunger. For some others, it's, you know, so many other things. But let me tell you what happened in Israel at this time. Samaria, to be precise. Because of the lockdown, the farming was so intense, so intense to the point that they began to eat donkey's head, Listen, we'll just wait for this one. Doves, doves droppings became a delicacy. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. And it even got worse. People, especially women, began to eat their children. Have you ever, ever, ever heard of such things? And could you even imagine it? That women will come to the point 
of eating their own children. It was that bad. So just to say to you that whatever it is that you're going through right now, it will never get that bad, okay? I, it will never, I don't believe it will get that bad. It was that bad. So that was how terrible the lockdown was. The economy was grounded, everything. Every single thing. So that means people were dying and, you know, what have you. And these women cried. There was a dispute about their, you know, eating their children or sharing their children. And these women cried out to the king. I'm happy and I, you know, you know what the king, the response the king gave to these women. He said, if God does not help, how can I help you? So in other words, help can come only from God. Excuse me. <laughs> you know, help can come only from God. If God does not help you, how can I help you? So, God, by his own mercy, intervened, and a prophet called Elisha came out to the, to the king, and he made a prophecy. He said, by this time tomorrow, bear in mind, I've just described the, how terrible the economy was, how terrible the famine was. And he said, by this time tomorrow, you're going to have abundance. And the king's Bihera went, oh my goodness, even if God opens heaven, that's never going to happen. It sounded impossible. It sounded ridiculous. How could this ever be? We are going through complete, complete meltdown of our economy. I said this time tomorrow there will be abundance. It was difficult to believe. But guess what? There is no lockdown in heaven. And it surely came to pass within 24 hours that they had more than enough to eat. They had more than enough because God is faithful to his word and there is no lockdown in heaven. It took four lepers to make that happen. And God can do anything using anyone at this time if we put our hope and our absolute trust in the Lord. So back to the testimony I, was, I said I was going to share. So when God said this to me, I went, okay, I shared with my family and I said, whatever it is that you, we, my, any one of us might be believing God for and you think because of lockdown, this is not possible again, that's not possible again, bring them back on the table. The Lord just assured me that there is no lockdown in heaven, so anything can happen. So we, I shared that and then oh, there was something I was also believing God from an office which I expected that, okay, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Do you know in less than 24 hours when I said that, precisely on the Saturday, I got an email in response to what I was waiting for exactly in 24 hours. Isn't our God great? He did it for me. He will do it for you. Our God is faithful. So there's no lockdown. My word of encouragement to you today is there is no lockdown in heaven. Just go out, launch into the deep. Continue to believe God and trust God. He will bring us through this and it will bring us out triumphantly if we put our faith and trust in him. All right, I will stop here because I don't want to make my video very long. I'll come your way again very, very soon, I promise. Go back and watch other videos that brings hope and encouragement to you on this channel. Please share, like it, and subscribe to the channel. And press the notification button. That's way you don't get to miss any new video that comes out. God bless you. I'll see you again soon. Bye.